In the same vein, in a bid to enlighten stakeholders on smooth implementation of the Petroleum Industry Act, the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority organized a general council and legal advisors meeting with mid and downstream operators. The chief executive officer of the agency, Al Haji Farouk Ahmed, said the essence of the PALI is to deliberate on the current legal framework for the Nigerian oil and gas sector as intended by the PIA 2021. Let's join correspondent Joycelyn Elakeche Ada, who attended the meeting, for details. The chief executive officer of the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, Alahaji Farouk Ahmed, represented by the executive director, distribution system, storage and retailing infrastructure, Obugu Ukoha, said the PIA is intentionally designed amongst all the key objectives to create two distinct complementary regulatory entities to promote gas utilization through deepening of midstream operations, unbundle the composite licensing regimes to encourage more participation across the upstream, midstream and downstream value chain, attract local and foreign investment and sustainably grow the industry for host communities and Nigerians. The essence of this engagement is to deliberate on the current legal framework for the Nigerian oil and gas industry as intended by the PIA 2021 present clarity and insights to the sections of the law with diverse or different interpretations. Example, Section 7EE and 8D. Discuss value chain propositions in a deregulated market and propose a way forward for a seamless operationalization of the objectives of the PIA. The CEO of NMDPRA explained that beyond restructuring of regulations by the agencies in the PIA, the law also requires the restructuring of companies and operations in the oil and gas industry. The PIA was designed to restructure the industry by creating a demarcation between the upstream, midstream and downstream value chain for growth and efficiency. To fully achieve this key objective, it, is, it also created two regulatory bodies from the SY regulators with clear, distinct functions and mandates. In his opening remarks by the Authority Secretary and Legal Advisor, Dr. Joseph Tolorunche said the GCLA Forum is a continuation of the Authority's drive to continuously engage with various industry stakeholders. He said the forum presents a unique opportunity for deepening the industry's general counsel and legal advisors' understanding of the midstream, downstream petroleum sector, the regulatory framework, and enable business and investment opportunities that can be derived from the Petroleum Industry Act 2021. The purpose of this forum is to discuss issues pertaining to a deeply industry legal practitioner's understanding of the authority's powers, functions, and regulations, providing clarity on perceived regulatory overlaps between the authority and government, uh, between the authority and the commission, promoting the business enabling and investment opportunities deriving from the licenses permits and authorization issued by the authority. The Chief Executive Officer of the NMDPRA, Alahaji Farouk Ahmed, said the implementation of the PIA has necessitated major policy shifts which may have significantly impacted business models. He said it may take a while to fully adjust and change the modest apprendi of the sector, but that to fully meet the objectives of the PIA, Complete commitment is required from stakeholders. Joycelyn Elakeche Ada, ASO Television News.